6.5 introduction to simplifying a product of higher roots so it's everything is the same the only thing different is that you have a different index to divide by so if I break up 18 that's going to be 2 times 9 which is 3 times 3 9 is 3 times 3 so that becomes 2 and then 1 2 3 4 cannot go into a one exponent so that two is going to stay put four goes into this exponent one full time so a three to the one will come out so the final answer does look like this now fourth roots and fifth roots is another reason why it's very good to um, learn the process of what's happening because you will not be able to do higher roots in your calculator and it give you an answer like this. It'll just give you a decimal, okay? For instance, if I go four root of 18 times four root of nine, it gives me a decimal. And no matter how many times I hit the double arrow, it still gives me a decimal. It will not convert it into an its exact form. So you really have to understand what's happening with those exponents behind the scenes in order to be able to do a higher root. So they're really making sure that you get the concept down. So for the next example, I have eight, which is four times two, which is two times two. Four over here is two times two. So if I look at all the prime numbers, I end up with the fifth root of two to the one, two, three, four, five. And then five goes into five one time and nothing left over. So there's nothing still inside the, the root, which means my answer is just two. Similarly down here, I could break that up into two times three, but that's already a prime. So if I multiply them all under the same radical, there's three goes into one zero times, but with that one still left over. 3 goes into this power once zero times with the one left over on the inside. 3 goes into 1 zero times with one left over on the inside. So it's just going to be the cube root of 42. Nothing actually comes out of the square root in that case. So you really have to, to work on it and understand the, the properties because you could have an example where some part of it comes out and the other doesn't. You could have an example where everything comes out and you have nothing stuck inside. Or you could have an example where nothing comes out and everything is stuck inside. So those are all really the three different possibilities that you can have. And it all depends on those exponents once you have everything in prime factorization. Um, so make sure you're practicing that concept.